Hi guys, welcome back. I am really, really excited to be sharing this new series with you guys. We are going to be making a few different types of DIY postcards. I am running a post DIY postcard swap over on my Facebook group. And so I thought I would make a few videos sharing some different ways that you could make your own postcards to send as happy mail. Um, so today I am going to be doing one type, but then I've got another four videos coming in the next short little while, which will be showing some other ways of making postcards. So if you like this idea of making your own postcards and sending out mail, please subscribe. Guys, there's more videos coming and I am super excited about them. So I would super appreciate if you would subscribe because it actually means so much to me and it's really helpful for my channel. Um, so if you would subscribe, I would be super, super thankful. So let's get started on making some postcards. First up, I've got this piece of white cardstock that I'm using as a base and let's get going. I have grabbed out my trimmer here and I am not measuring, I am just trimming down my cardstock into four parts. They are so uneven, but that doesn't bother me. I don't need the postcards to all be the same size. I am just making these up as you go. So you can see here I've got some smaller sizes and some two bigger sized postcards to work with here. So I've grabbed out a bigger one and I am going to do some painting in this video. So in this video, um, I'm going to be doing all of the postcards, well I think I make two of them, um, and they are going to be hand painted postcards and I really like how they turned out. I um, haven't been, like up until recently I've just sort of done a lot of journaling but um, just in recent times I have been really enjoying painting again. I haven't done a lot of painting since I was maybe a teenager um, so it's really fun to go back to something I so enjoyed as a young person and start painting again. So I decided I'd paint both sides of the postcard in this beautiful bright yellow color. That way I didn't have to be so careful about um, how I painted the yellow. I could just slap it down and if it snuck around to the other side it didn't matter because the other side was already yellow anyway. So I decided that it would be best to just slap down that yellow both sides and Honestly, I really like the way it looks. I really like having the written side really beautiful bright yellow color as well as the front. So now I have my green colored pencil. I just grabbed any color that I had nearby and I am sketching in the little flower that I wanted to draw um, so that I just, I just wanted to sketch it out first so that I had something of a, um, you know, a sketch so that I could paint from that sketch. I definitely am somebody who can't just paint from nothing. I need to have something there. So I just did that really, really basic little sketch so that I could follow along with that. As I mentioned earlier, in my Facebook group that I have, I am running a DIY postcard swap. You can sign up as many times as you like to send out more postcards and therefore you will receive more postcards in the mail and you can um, tell me whether or not you would like international or within your own country. It's open to anyone in the world and it's going to be so fun. I really love running these sorts of swaps. I run swaps I used to run them more regularly, but I do run them every so often still in my Facebook group and it is really fun swapping with people and I think this will be a really great way to share art with people, whether it's art you've painted or collaged or however you decide that you want to do your DIY postcard, it's a fun, fun way to share art with all sorts of people. It's going to be super fun and I cannot wait to share some of my postcards and have some of other people's postcards come in the mail to me. So if you would like to participate in this DIY postcard swap, I will have the link for my Facebook group down below in the description. So please come over and join us there and I would love to see you there. I'd love to match you up with different people so that you can share some of your postcards with people wherever in the world.
as you will have seen, I just sort of blopped in some colour on this little moon flower. I have been painting and sketching a lot of these flowers recently. It's just something that I sort of have developed and have been really enjoying painting and creating recently. So fun. So it was a perfect opportunity um, when I thought, oh, what could I paint on this postcard? I thought this would be a great time for me to paint some of these moon flowers. I had only been, I think before I painted this one, I'd only kind of been sketching them out in my sketchbook with some colored pencils and things like that. So it was really, really fun to have a go painting one of them. And I have another painting of one of these flowers in my art journal as well, which my patrons will have seen. My most recent video up on Patreon was about art journaling. It wasn't this particular one but uh, the particular art piece that I'm talking about with the flower but I did show that art piece in that video. As you can see my technique of making more greens is by using my under paper as a palette and kind of mixing some yellows and greens together to create a different sort of tone of green that I could add into the stem and leaves of this painting. I do love adding paint to my under papers because I use them later. I will use them again um, to create collage fodder or pages for journals or whatever. When they've got these random textures of paint on it, I really do like to reuse them. So I never mind if I get paint all over the under paper. It just gives me a unique and interesting piece of paper to work with in the future. Coming in here with my trusty paint pen. I believe this is a, yes, Pilot Pintor paint pen. I really like it. It's very juicy. Um, yeah, I haven't actually had a lot of luck with Posca paint pens. I don't know why everyone seems to really like them. Every time, well, I've only had two, I think. Both of them have been white Posca paint pens, and both of them haven't worked. Like, I have tried, but the paint is so thin that it just doesn't show up on anything. It's just like water. So I've really not, I've sh like I've tried shaking them. I don't, I don't know what it is that it won't work for me for, but both of them have been kind of pathetic and I, they're really expensive pens. So I, I don't know, tell me if you think that I have just had a bad experience and I should try Posca again. I don't know. I just, I really haven't had a lot of luck with them, but these Pintor Pilot Pintor pens are beautifully chunky, um, big, thick paint pens and I have had a lot of success with them so that seems to be what I'm going for but I don't they're not that easy to find so I don't know tell me what paint pens should I be using Posca should I give Posca another go at some point I don't know let me know let me know what you think I'm just using my green pencil to come back in and just add some more sort of texture and interest and stars to the background of this you could see kind of scribbly edges of my uh, pencil underneath the flower and the moon so I decided that I wanted to come back in and continue that here is the final piece you can see on the back a little bit of the paint tore up when I lifted the postcard I don't care I really love that kind of rough look and I am using colored pencil which is my favorite thing to use honestly for postcards to add the details and the lines in I really do like the way it looks with colored pencil doing that rather than pen. Now we're going to move on to our second postcard guys. So for this one I decided I would give it a blue background rather than yellow and I again paint both sides. I'm adding a bit of white to just sort of lighten the color a little bit. Um, just it also adds some variation adding that white in afterwards like without mixing it first. It just gives um, yeah that sort of variation of color on my postcard which I really like.
instead of doing a green colored pencil this time I grabbed out my gold colored pencil I am doing a shooting star on this postcard you can see here I am adding in the lines to show the movement and I have obviously already drawn in the star and I just really like how it fills the space really nicely so I am coming in here with a yellow to paint in my star Here you can see I am grabbing out my neon paint. I am obsessed with my neon paint at the moment. It is so cheap, this paint. It was really cheap paint from the warehouse. Like it's kids paint. It comes in like a set of four colors or something. And it had, it was like four dollars or something. It was so, so cheap. And it's a weird consistency. It's kind of rubbery. But I have really been enjoying adding in some fluorescent paint to my work although you can see here I am kind of covering it up quite a lot with this other yellow which is a bit of a darker yellow to really define my shooting star a little bit more now for the fun bit adding the gold oh I love metallics I really love adding metallic paint to everything recently or glitter paint Oh, there's just something so magical and beautiful about it. So I am adding on this gold metallic color over the top. It is quite sheer, but it does have a pigment. It does have a bit of a color to it. So you can see it has changed the color somewhat, but it, you can still see the yellow underneath it. So it just adds a real glow, a sparkle to the postcard, which is just beautiful. I really am a big sparkle fan, which is funny because I would not have said that I was not that long ago. I feel like over the last maybe year, I've had quite a big change in my preferences about things, which has been interesting because I thought that I was too old for that, but obviously not. Um, between the ages, like well, over my year of being 27, I really have found that I have had a big change of heart on a lot of colors and um, things. So yeah, that's been interesting. I am adding an eyeball to this star and that is something I have been doing a lot recently as well. I've been adding eyes to everything and stars particularly. I have Matariki on the brain. If you guys follow me on Instagram and you have been following me for a year, you might remember me talking about Matariki last year. It's coming up again and I'm going to have to start working really hard on creating some Matariki theme things for my shop because Matariki is one of my absolute favorite um, celebrations that we have here in New Zealand. It is the Māori New Year and the it is about um, these stars, these nine stars. Um, you guys keep your, keep your eyes and ears peeled for more about this um, on my channel and on my Instagram coming up because it is something that I really love celebrating every year and definitely will be celebrating again this year. So excited. But it's about stars and it's about eyes. So that is kind of where the inspiration, I guess, for this postcard somewhat has come from because I've been drawing a lot of stars and eyes. As you can see, once again, I have my trusty black paint pen. I have been using this so much. At the moment, it's one of my most used art supplies, a big, thick, chunky black paint pen. Something I totally recommend to people if you like a dark outline around your artwork or your pictures. I really do have been doing this a lot recently. And so, yeah, a nice, big, thick, black, juicy paint pen is where it's at. I have this little plastic pokey thing that I got in a pack of those those papers. If you know what I'm talking about, I can't remember what they're called, but they're black and you scratch up the black stuff and it has the rainbow colors underneath. You probably know what I'm talking about, hopefully. It came in a pack with that and I used it to dot the white paint on because I didn't have a white paint pen that I could do the same thing. 
This is the end of the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this number one in the DIY postcard series. More is coming. If you enjoyed this, please uh, subscribe and leave a comment, like, whatever, and come and join us over on the Facebook group for the swap. Thanks, guys. Bye.